Hello, and today I'm going to teach you how to install old mods, that's mods for the original Skyrim on the, for example, the Nexus mod Skyrim, which you're looking at now, on Skyrim Special Edition. Now, you may be confused on how to do something like that, or you may think that old mods simply don't work on the new Skyrim unless they're specially converted by, for example, the original mod authors. And some very old Skyrim mods may have been abandoned by their mod authors long ago. You know, leaving you thinking that that mod might not go in the new Skyrim. Don't worry, there's actually a way for you to convert the old Skyrim mod onto the new one. And here I'll tell you how. Now, the first mod we're going to uh, look at is an uh, ESP only mod. That's a mod without any uh, textures or. Um, you know, meshes or anything, sounds, quests, or, uh, it, well, quests, but any sounds or extras or things like that. Now, the interesting thing about those mods is that they will work right out of the box for uh, Skyrim Special Edition. So, I mean, we're going to look, for example, at an ESP-only mod, uh, a mod that changes gameplay. It's one of the more popular gameplay-changing mods uh, under gameplay changes. Here we go. Uh, this one, Stones of Berenzia quest markers. Okay, so this isn't actually this is an original Skyrim mod, and who knows if its original mod author will return to convert this very useful mod uh, to Skyrim Special Edition. So what we're going to do is download it. Uh, we're going to open our Skyrim Special Edition folder right here and drag it over. Uh, why well, I, I did this earlier, but we'll just replace it. Okay, so now what we'll do is we will launch Skyrim Special Edition. Now, keep in mind again, this is an original Skyrim mod, and we're using this straight out of the box for Skyrim Special Edition. So here we go, launch the game. So what you're going to do with these ESP-only mods is it's all to simply install it in your Skyrim Special Edition. Simply go to Mods here. Go to load order, and as you can see, we've already checked it. So just check it again. Uh, but it usually will appear here unchecked. So just check it. Berenzia quest markers. Okay, go back. And a quick way to check, uh, and it will check. It will re it will restart the game with a new load order. So what we will do is we will go straight to the game. Uh, here's a little nice little trick to check if your mods are actually working. Uh, just open the console in the main screen and just uh, COC which means center on coordinates uh, anywhere you want. So in this case we'll center on coordinates in white. Alright so here we are in white run, everything is working just fine. So to test if this, uh, obviously this is uh, this is actually an empty character, this is just a base character with nothing on them. Uh, we just simply jump into the game from the menu so there's no save, no anything, it's just the, our default character. So obviously the quest for Berenzia Stones hasn't started yet. So what we'll do is to test this quest, and just to show you that it works, we'll set stage, TG, which set stage means setting the stage of the quest, TG Crown, which is his name in the creation kit, 20. Alright, so that's that quest started, and in the old Skyrim, uh, with this mod installed, all the 24 locations would appear on your map. And in the new Skyrim, that is the case. You don't need to go in the creation kit uh, to resave it. You don't need to do anything like that for an ESP-only mod. You don't need to repack it or anything like that. It will work straight out of the box if it's an ESP-only mod. Okay, so that's good. All right, uh, now obviously the ESPs work straight away. However, uh, there is one mod we need to look at, and that one mod, one kind of mod we need to look at, and that are that are ESPs with the BSA archive attached. Now, uh, the new game uses a different kind of BSA archive, so we're going to see what happens if we use an old archive on the Skyrim Special Edition. And as you will see, it won't be straightforward. So right now we're trying to install Arissa. So as you can see the, in the RAR file, there is a BSC and an ESM. So what we're going to do is going to just uh, copy it to our data folder. Great. Uh, we are going, to, and then we're going to launch Skyrim Special Edition and see if it works. So what we need to do is we do what we did before with the markers. 
just go into mods, go to T load order, and find the RISA right there. As you can notice, it's picking up not the ESP size, it's picking up the BSM size, which is 144 meg, 154 meg. So let's click it. All right, and it should do what we did before and just simply reload the game with the new data files. So, okay, great. And as you can see, it is not loading as fast as it is the Quest Master, as the Quest Marker uh, mod. In fact, it is now crashing. Uh, the reason for that is that the new game, while rec uh, recognizing some features of the old archives, doesn't recognize most of them and is unable to load the files uh, in any way. So, how do we get around that? So, I'm sure Arisa is by Chesco, and I'm sure he's going to update that for the Scanner Special Edition in due time. In fact, it might already be up. However, there might be old mods that have BSA attached where the mod author has gone. So how do we fix a problem like this? So what do we do is that we just let it crash. Nope. And we, what we do is that we go to the companion versus BSA and we simply open it. I'm using Fallout Mod Manager to open the BSA, but you can use anything else and what we do is I'm going to extract all of the files in this BSA to the desktop. Okay. Okay, great. So I'm just going to copy all those files. Cut. and copy the files to my data folder. Okay, great, so now what we're gonna do is that now all the files are in our data folder, we're just going to rename the companion risk of BSA. That's simply just to take it out of the naming conventions of the ESP, so the game now knows it's no longer linked to the BSA. So we're gonna change it to companion risk of whatever. Great, so now, oh, it's still open in FOFM, L-O-F-M-N. We're just going to rename that to whatever. Great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to launch the game again. Uh, play. And usually if the BSA is still uh, installed, the game won't launch at all. Uh, because it ha it's put Sophia in your plugin and Sophia is connected to the original BSA. So as long as it's linked to the old BSA, the game will think it's linked to the BSA, but not able to recognize it and the game will crash on launch. So now that we've unlinked the BSA, uh, simply launch the game. All right, so now we're going to go to the day minus drink just to see Arissa and see if this is working. All right, great. So strangers like you bring war. I've seen enough war. Good, good. Okay, so she should be in here. Do you have a Who's second? I need your help. The there she is. Hey, you there? I need to talk to you. What is it? Okay. I lost something of mine nearby. A family heirloom. It was a locket, gold with an emerald. If you could help All right, so we're just going to skip through the dialogue. I would gladly pay you for your trouble. Oh, thank you. Let me take you there right away. All right, great. So as you can see, she's getting up. All the scripts are working for Arissa, and she looks pretty much the same as she did in the original game. There might be a few texture and mesh issues because the game has different shaders, but uh, more or less it'll be working. So we're just going to go out here. Hopefully it's working. Great. So we just need to go to the quest, follow Arissa. Sure spoons, handsome man in Palkri. I think I dropped it around here somewhere. Do you see it? Okay, so that was the event which happens with Arissa you get beating up after she takes you uh, around Sorry, love. the bar. Personal. I just need to relieve you of your coin. Take care now. Okay, great. So she's a bit of a brigand. Alright, so we're not going to we're not really concerned about our coin. What we're concerned about is if the mod worked. And it did. So as you can see all you need to do is extract the contents of your BSA to the data folder and the mod should work. However, if you don't extract the BSA and simply load the ESP with the BSA linked, having the same naming conventions as the ESP, 
uh, it will not only not work, it will not be able to load the game whatsoever. Alright, so now that works, we're going to go into the third thing. And that is animations. Alright, so now we're going to use the animations. Uh, we're going to look at immersive animations. And I've already downloaded that, I've got the RAR here. Now, generally this works straight off the bat for the original game. Uh, without anything, you know, there's no ASP, there's no scripts, there's no anything. It's simply a, a series of HKX files. Alright? So it should work straight off the bat. It's the most basic file, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that to our data folder uh, and straight in and meshes. Okay, great. So let's launch the game again. All right, so we're basically in the Skyrim and stuff like that and everything should work fine. So in the original Skyrim, when you pulled out your axe and stuff like that and ran with it, uh, it would display the new animations. However, if you pull out now, your body revert becomes a sort of floating statuesque figure. Uh, that is its original shape in when it is modelled. Uh, so as you can see, the animations do not work. Not only do they work, they disable everything. So, the only thing you can do is activate things, like talking to guards. However, you won't be able to fight. Or sheath back your weapons. So you're able to walk normally, uh, but you won't sheath back your weapons. Sheath back your weapons. We sheath back your weapons. So that that applies to every animation you might download because they were all made using the old 32-bit uh, havoc. Uh, they're, they're, they're all made using the old ways of doing it for the old Skyrim. However, the animations for Skyrim 64-bit have been updated, and the new animations are no longer compatible. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to update the new animations. However, I'm sure I know that a fix has been made or is possibly out. However, if you want to download an old mod with animations. Please know that it's not as simple as dropping them in your data folder. Uh, it will not work unless specified. So I'd look out for that. Okay, so those are the generally the three things uh, you should know about Skyrim Special Edition. ESPs work. By themselves work. ESPs with BSAs attached that were made for the old game do not work. And you have to extract the BSAs and normally it should work. It should start working. However, this doesn't apply to every file. There are some scripts that don't compile and some textures that don't fit in the new game and some meshes that don't work. So please be on the lookout for them. Most of the time it should work though for most of your mods. Uh, and thirdly, uh, believe it or not, animations don't function at all. Alright, so those are some things you know. Please leave any questions you might have in the comments. I hope this video has been uh, useful to you in terms of if you really have an old mod for Skyrim, the mod author doesn't look like, like he's going to update it uh, and it should be useful for you to install. Alright, so if you have any friends that would find this information useful, uh, please share it with people. And if you want to know what we do in the channel, we generally do Fallout 4 mods, we don't do as many Skyrim mods, but if you want to subscribe to us for Fallout 4 mods and Skyrim mods in the future, please subscribe. Otherwise, enjoy modding Skyrim.